The Animate feature in Sparkle can really make a web page come alive. A great example of the Animate feature can be found on the Sparkle homepage. As the page loads, just about every element on this page is animated, and the animations are timed so they occur one after another. Scroll down, and as certain areas of the page come into view, more animations begin. This is all created with the Animate on Scroll command in Sparkle. For items at the top of a web page, this could be called Animate on Load, or Animate when Visible. Images, text, and buttons can all have Animate on Scroll applied. So on this page, I have nine total elements right now. A wide box is the header, two buttons, four text boxes, and the Sparkle icon. Let's start with the icon. In the Animate on Scroll section, we have two menus. In the first, we can select the type of animation. In the second, we can set up a direction the element will enter from, if any. Let's start with a simple fade in place. The sliders below control the timing, so this animation will last one second, have no delay, won't repeat, and will be offset from the bottom of the page by 100 pixels. Let's take a look in Safari. Pretty simple, when the page loads, the icon fades in. Now let's set it to last two seconds and repeat three times. So now it kind of pulses, but stops after three. You can set an item to repeat up to 30 times. Now let's try some different animations. Here's zoom set to 1.5 seconds. and now Bounce, which is sort of similar to Zoom. The Rotate animation will spin the object into place. So far, we've only been animating in place. Let's stick with Rotate and choose Up, Left Centering. That brings the object in from the bottom of the page while rotating counterclockwise, or to the left. Now let's do a slide in from the right. So you get the idea here, there are a lot of different combinations of animation types and directions. I'm going to set the icon to have a slide animation and move up as the direction. Now let's animate the buttons. Let's have both of these zoom in moving down, so they're going to come in from the top of the page. The text boxes will also slide in, one and three from the left, two and four from the right. So there are all the animations but they all occur at once, which is a little overwhelming when the page loads. So we need to set up delays. The first element I want to appear is the icon, so it won't have a delay, and I'll keep its duration at a second and a half. Next, I want the buttons to come down together. So both of these will get a delay of 1.5 seconds, so their animation will start right after the icon enters. I'm also going to increase their duration to 3 seconds because the zoom down animation moves pretty fast. Let's have the text boxes slide in last, and they'll do it one after another. So text box 1 needs a delay of 4.5 seconds, so it comes in after the icon and buttons. I'll keep its duration at 1 second, so text box 2 will begin at 5.5 seconds. Text box 3 and 4 each a second more delay. So our animations are now timed with different delays and durations.
I'm also going to adjust the animation type for the text boxes. Right now they just slide over. I'd rather have them not be visible at the start of the animation. So I'm going to need to change them to fade animations that move right and left. So now the text boxes aren't visible right away and they slide in from the edge of the page. Now let's add one last element further down the page. I'm going to set this to fade in and move down as it does. I'm also going to make it a slow 4 second animation. So now in Safari our timed animations occur. Then as I scroll down, the next animation occurs but only when I scroll to this element spot in the page. The animation doesn't occur until the image is visible. So that's a look at how to use the animation feature in Sparkle. It's fun to experiment with and can really add to your web pages.